taking a look at Flick by Alexis de la Fuente. Uh, it's French, de la Fuente, I think is how you would say that, right? Fuente, Fuente, right? De la Fuente, de la Fuente, de la Fuente. Yeah, de la Fuente. De la Fuente? Sure, Brian says it's de la Fuente. Today we're taking a look at Flick by Alexis de la Fuente, I think. In this routine, you have a card selected and signed. You punch a hole into the card, you hold the card up, Flick it with your fingers and the hole jumps from one side of the card down to the other. Everything can be examined. Bailey wants to know, is Flick a gaffed trick? Flick does use a gaff, but at the end of the routine and during the beginning phases of the routine, uh, the card is handled and examined by the spectator. Mark wants to know, in Flick, how does it compare to Hollow? Hollow and Flick are pretty similar. The advantage that you have with Flick is that everything can be held at the extreme edges of the cards with your fingertips and that Flick action just looks amazing. Andrew wants to know what the angles on Flick are. Flick has a 180 degree radius of viewing goodness. The Hypno Spider on Flick, are there any other routines included? That's a very good question. Unfortunately, Flick, the actual flicking the hole from one side of the card to the other is the only thing mentioned on the DVD. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more routining leading up to that moment. My personal take on this is that I love the visual aspect of this. The fact that you flick the card at the fingertips and the hole literally, it looks like a camera trick, moves from one side of the card to the other. My gimmick, however, broke like right away. Right after I used it one or two times, it broke. Um, so it is a delicate gimmick and you are gonna have to take care of it. And what I did appreciate about this is that on the DVD, they explain in detail how to fix and modify your gimmick as well as giving you the props to do so. You can see the Magic Geek demo for Flick by clicking the video right above my head. Also, we are going to be reviewing Inferno and Superhero Glasses. So if you have questions or comments on either of those, please leave them in the comment section down below.